That's Dean Potter jumping with his dog. Oh, the poor dog. So the dog. It's not the dog's fault. The dog, I believe, is that looks like Switzerland. It's crazy asshole, fucking owner. <laughs> So Dean was in, insane, right? He was a world-class uh, rock climber. He's also dead from jumping a wingsuit. He oh, died in Jesus. Yosemite. Um, it's, like I said, the technology advances. Uh, I am not, I was not there the day that Dean died. I've talked to people who have looked at it uh, as to the conditions that led up to it. And uh, one thing people generally don't want to do is place the responsibility on the individual making the choice but what from everything that i have seen he made a choice to jump at a time when he should not have been jumping due to visual conditions so even though the suits are amazing really the only thing that doesn't seem to be evolving is the person that's that's jumping it, it most of the time just like skydiving it's just a human being making a very poor choice to include alex what is it about people and i mean particularly people like yourself that love these thrills like what are you getting out of that <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting out of that other than this mad adrenaline rush? I mean, what is it? Like, what motivates you to keep doing that? Uh, so if I look back at it objectively, yeah, I think when I initially started pushing hard down that path, I was trying to replicate a headspace or a feeling or a sensation that I had in my old job. Um. So if you want to talk about clarity of thought and i think you know we might have talked about this the very first time